Um, but this is where we're heading, isn't it? This is why I'm actually kind of geekily excited about this subject matter, because letting is financial freedom. It is assets producing income. If you look at rich dad, poor dad, you've got employed, self-employed, business owner, and then you slip into investor. And your assets deliver your, uh, your income. And you're not tied, excuse me, to your hourly rate. And I have that, I don't need to work. I do this crazy lady, because I love it. I love watching the light bulb pop on, and I love the community and the camaraderie we've got here. But the, I get paid on the first. I do two hours a week, although Josh tells me it's one. So should we say one and a half hours a week on my portfolio, and I'm paid much more than any job I've ever had, and I'm multi-million worth. It's astonishing, and that didn't take too long. You know, both of you guys knew me from grand zero minus. Um, so, so this is why I'm excited about this, because this is the real deal, isn't it? You can buy and sell, but please buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell to stash that money into a buy and keep, because then you're starting to do freedom. And it, you know, we all come into our realizations a bit late. It only dawned on me that I had gotten to what you might call time and financial freedom when I went to Rio. Because of course, normally I'm running around busy because I like being busy, I like doing stuff. And I went to Rio and I went for a run every morning on Copacabana Beach. I drank my mango juice and I decided which Olympic sport to go and watch that day. Uh, and I did a little bit of work because it was fair. It was my sixth holiday that summer. And I realized that that could be my life if I chose it. I could now go travel the world and work remotely with my team. So that didn't take long. And that is real financial and time freedom. I then came back and went, yeah, let's get crazy busy again. But that is a personal choice rather than a necessity. So that's where we're at. <coughs> capital growth is something that I didn't factor in when I'm building a portfolio, but capital growth is obviously going to erode your, uh, your uh, debt. And then we also look at how you might manage that debt going forward uh, in tomorrow's discussion. And inflation erodes the debt as well. So what a fantastic position to be in. You get paid. It's not tied to your hourly rate. Um, you use leverage to grow assets that are higher to the value that you'd be able to achieve on your own. Capital growth and inflation erode the debt. How good is that? Now let's get into reality <laughs> and then let's make it happen.